What are you all looking forward to most about the upcoming holiday season? What are we thinking, huh? Oh, the fam. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Hanging yep. out with the fam and just the smells from the kitchen, Erica, even more than the eating. I like the smells and getting ready for it. Yeah, I, the kids, because seeing them on FaceTime and then they get so like blown away when you're like in front of them. <laughs> I'm like, I'm blown away by you too. It's so yeah. cute. Yeah. I just like to live through my kids' yeah. eyes and see them get so excited for Santa, the elf on the shelf, like all of the above. You took the words out of my mouth. Live for my kids to see what they do. The traditions, cooking for my family, just all of it. I love it. Making Very cookies. Nice. I'm going to be baking with my dad, and which is really sad. We've never baked together, and it's going to be a little moment. Shout out, God. Jer. Jer awesome. Jerry's gotten into baking, and so am I. Chef Jer. Chef Jer. I love it. <laughs> love it. <laughs> okay, so something I always look forward to. You know me. I like watching all the Hallmark Christmas movies. I don't miss them, and my favorites are the ones with friend of the show, Jonathan Bennett. Oh so my. let's get into the holiday spirit and talk about all things Hallmark and holidays. Please welcome back to the show. We love him. Jonathan Bennett. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Part of my, my Hallmark tracker that I have in me when, when right. we, we just have uh, sound bites that automatically come out without, without us uh, even controlling it. So. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, Jonathan Bennett bringing Santa baby. Uh, <laughs> your new movie, Christmas on Cherry Lane, follows three different families who are balancing the holidays, big changes, and a little chaos. So have you experienced a hectic holiday like your character? Oh, come on. I think... I mean, it's it, the holidays are so much fun, but let, we have to just be honest, right? We just got to call it is call it what it is. They're fun, but they're also chaos. Like you know, like we, whoever says that, oh, my holiday was absolutely perfect. There was nothing chaotic. There was no drama. There was nothing is lying because there's <laughs> always with the holidays comes chaos. They just go hand in hand. But it's a it's a beautiful, controlled, fun chaos, and I think that's part of the experience so for me we i think every holiday is chaos i don't because i'm involved so of course it's chaos. <laughs> <laughs> if i'm there buckle up um you so and your you and yeah, your blow absolutely. up decorations yeah what's behind you oh, what the, are blow up, the, the 20 foot tall ones mm -hmm. yes. yeah so james we were at, we're at the store at home and james my husband's uh, we saw these giant 20 foot inflatable uh, Christmas decorations and I wanted them and he wouldn't let me get them. So I messaged, oh, there oh we are. God. I messaged at home <laughs> the store and they sent me all of them. So we have all oh my God. of the blow ups in our backyard. James is so he, mad. He's so upset, but then I. Look how happy you are. sponsored ad so you can't be mad and now you're stuck in it. Oh my so God. Like to it. Use it. That is so good. All right, last year you crowned yourself the gay Did king I? of Christmas at Hallmark. I mean, I love that this is self-inflicted. I love it. I mean, I don't know if I crowned, no. Out, mag Out Magazine crowned me. I just repeated it. Oh, that's fair then. What makes, yeah, okay. yeah tell me about you being the like, king I of this holiday. I love me, but I don't love me enough to be like, I'm a king. Okay. Uh, okay that the makes, that makes, oh, what do you feel, what makes you the king of this holiday if they crowned you that? What do you think makes you if the king? Me, um, I think just having having the spirit of christmas and the holidays but especially for christmas at hallmark channel which is you know no one does christmas better than hallmark mm -hmm. channel that's just they they ha they they do it right and, and that's why they're the number one go-to place for holiday programming i mean it's almost like hallmark channel has become synonymous with putting up a christmas tree and santa claus during the holidays it's now become a staple tradition of so many families totally. and so I think being a part of that all year long, you got, you know, I say you guys, meaning you know, people that watch our movies, they start watching in October. Wow. But we have been pitching and writing and filming. I have like four movies that were in the middle of, of Christmas movies that were in the middle of developing. So like we, when we say Hallmark Channel lives and breathes Christmas all year long, we really do. Wow. And, and so I think that's why I would say that people like me and some of my other princes and dukes of the <laughs> holiday would make us the the royalty of Christmas. Amen. Well done, no sir. one does it better than Hallmark. Well it's done, so sir. I live for it. Uh, okay, so we talked about this particular story in one of our earlier shows, and okay. we want to get your take on the latest Fox oh, News boy. rant <laughs> about woke Christmas decorations. Take a look, Jonathan. We sent one of our producers to Target and they found this. 
gay nutcracker, complete with a rainbow hat, a trans flag, full price, $12, but right now it's on sale for eight. What do we think, Jonathan? I mean, work. First of all, <laughs> a gay nut, I mean, aren't all nutcrackers gay? Thank like, you. look at them. They're like, they're dressed up in drag. It's basically a bunch of wooden men in drag. So first of all, all nutcrackers are gay. Secondly, a gay nutcracker is even better because <laughs> Like, the fact that he even had a problem with this, like, throw up, shut up. <laughs> the fact that you have a problem with this, like, Christmas is for everyone. Yeah, and if, if we want to have a nutcracker that's dressed up in a pride flag with a trans flag, fantastic. Because guess what that means? That means that family that might have gay uh, parents or gay kids has something they can now take home to their house and put in it. Beautiful. And they feel like they're seen and that they're represented and they feel like connected to the holiday just like everyone That's else. Exactly so right. well I think what a Hallmark Channel does so well is that our holiday table is for everyone. That's why our programming has all different tapestry of stories being told because at the end of the day, what we always say at the network is Christmas is for everyone. Mm -hmm. And so Hallmark Channel is for everyone. Christmas decorations are for everyone. Beautifully and stated. All nutcrackers are gay. <laughs> Amen, Jonathan. Thank you for yes. that. Let's talk about Thanksgiving because people online have been sharing their biggest Let's turkey day it. fails. Yes. Do you have okay. a fail of your own? So, not me particularly, but my best friend Tony, and I sent the video in because I know they're asking this question. He dropped our apple pie Ooh. on Thanksgiving last no. year. Here you he no. go. Oh, there it goes. That's no. our uh, vivid camera security footage. Look how embarrassed he is. But here's the problem. We were all watching a movie, so we didn't see this happen. And you see he walks. Here he goes. And boom. Drops the apple pie. He goes and sits down with us at the, at the couch. And he starts watching the movie and doesn't even clean it up because he's so embarrassed that he doesn't know what to do. And I walk over and I go, why is the apple pie on the floor? And he goes, I dropped it. And we're like, you can tell us. He's like, I was so embarrassed. I didn't know what to do. So I just sat down and started watching the movie. <laughs> I, I love it because walked he walked away. away from it because he wasn't mentally ready to deal with it yet. Totally. And then he was like, let me just watch TV. He panicked. I, yeah. I get yeah. it. That was a very human response. Oh, my gosh. Jonathan, we wish <laughs> you could have you back on the panel. Thank you so much for joining you, us. Bud. DBL Nation, Thanks, be sure to watch Christmas yes. on Cherry Lane. It premieres December 9th cute, on the Hallmark that. Channel. Thank you again, Jonathan. Great to see you. Happy holidays. We Thanks, love brother. you. Bye, King. <laughs> Bye, queens. All of you. Bye, queens. <laughs>